I'm gonna get into this one. Let's do it. All right, our friend here, Planet Wally, has made a quick tutorial for people that are play Star Citizen that want a virtual reality experience. So I'm going to play this, and it because it doesn't, first off, it doesn't have enough views at all. And there were so much interested. One of our highest uh, viewed videos on the channel was his VR video. And it was just fantastic to, to see Star Citizen in, in a VR experience was wow. So here he's got a tutorial on how to do it on your own so let's check it out hello fellow citizens after enjoying elite dangerous in vr i was missing that visceral experience of actually flying a spaceship unfortunately the one method of getting star citizen working in vr by using warp x was made unworkable with the introduction of easy anti-cheat in 315. easy anti-cheat sees warp <laughs> yes, x as a potential cheating mechanism as it interacts directly with the game files, and Vorpex is not whitelisted as an approved tool. So people have looked into other options of making VR work. By the way, I have all links below when I release this to Star YouTube. Citizen. I have tested a couple of methods, one using third-party tools, reshade and virtual desktop, but found it to be cumbersome to launch and not 100% stable on my machine. So I looked at simpler methods and came up with one this is that great. works quite well for me. It, I already this feel like I'm watching in VR. I don't know if it's a psychological quick, thing or step -by -step not. Step-by-step <laughs> guide on how to get up and running with okay. a similar setup to what I have. Good. I have tested this with my Oculus Quest 2 headset, but it should work well with other headsets, provided cool. minor modifications. This is great for people with headsets, which I want There are three tools that you will need to make this method work. All right. The first is Virtual Desktop. Okay. The second is OpenTrack. Right. And the third is Steam VR. I'll list links to those below. Step one, download and install Virtual Desktop. There are two versions uh, of it. I will focus on I'm the terrible Oculus at this shit, version, by the way. since that is what I already own and it works well. Peace out, E-Red. Have a wonderful day. Oculus Quest 2 headset. Step two, download and install Steam VR. This should be pretty straightforward. You may need to install Steam if you don't already own it's it. It's got to be wild, Explodo. And then from within Steam, you can install Steam VR. Could you imagine walking around in these large Step ships three. like in virtual Download reality? Download and Fuck. install OpenTrack. It's got to be Open the Open uses Steam VR to capture your headset's head movement and then outputs it to games like Star Citizen, mimicking a head infrared tracker. Step four. Add two custom resolutions to your NVIDIA control panel or via AMD software. One is 2400 by 1000 and the other is 2080 by oh, 1960. Wow. Get that 2080, two, Or equivalent to it for your specific headset. Yeah, get that The first resolution will enable you to use wider field of view. And this is not 100% necessary. <laughs> you doing, Chris? And so I might leave the details of how to set this up in the video description to keep this video shorter. Right. The second resolution enables the game to run in a format that will fit each eye completely. You will not want to have a white screen here because then you would end up seeing black borders on top and bottom of your headset. Nobody wants the that. The resolution value is not exactly the native resolution of the Quest 2, but it works Anarchy perfectly. Anarchy C, by the way, the Anarchy in, involved in some very big stuff. Once I can't wait to announce. you have done all of the above, I recommend rebooting since Windows always likes to reboot when installing and configuring things. That's Start by running Virtual Desktop Streamer app on your computer. Yeah. Power on your headset and connect to the Virtual Desktop instance. You should be able to see your computer screen in front of you. Use your mouse to open OpenTrack and click on Start. When you do this, Steam VR will launch onto your headset and take up your view. Use the left hand controller for your headset and click the menu button on it twice to minimize Steam VR and get back to your virtual desktop. We just need Steam VR running in the background to capture our motion. I Nothing already feel else. this is too complicated. Next for me. on your desktop, <laughs> click stop on open track if you see the squid is not center aligned. God damn. For some reason, center the goddamn I have squid. To always start mine twice for it to be aligned properly. So click start again 
and test by moving your head left, right. That's right, what I do, Chris. up, down, and tilt it left and right. Look at that squint. If the tilt is incorrect, as it was in my case, click the mirror button to reflect ah, it. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Look at that squid go. Now that you have your virtual desktop and tracking of your head running, okay. when you start Star Citizen, do not oh. worry first about how the screen looks. Let's get tracking set up first, and then we will adjust the view and the resolution. To test appropriately, <laughs> enter into arena mode, select single player, change the course to free flight, and select a ship with an interior if possible, um, and then launch the game. Okay, that makes sense. Because you don't have to worry about anything with any of the servers. Once the game starts, you need to enable head tracking. By selecting it under Options, Comps, VoIP, Head, Tracking tab. Okay, this is the part that's important. Ensure that you select Track IR as the tracking source and select Yes under Toggle Enabled. You also want to ensure to have use position offsets in cockpits set to Yes so you have full six degrees of motion while flying. You want to select No on Disable while seated and No under disable during FPS. I also select no under disable during Moby Glass and no under disable during interaction mode. Recommend yes under roll in seats and roll in FPS. For, from my perspective, I want to feel like I am always able to move my head in all different directions. Once you have these selected, exit the menu and test the movements by moving your head left, right, tilt, left and right, and move forward and backward. Go back to the menu and under graphics, select your resolution of 2080 by 1960 and set the field of view to maximum that you're able to. Exit the menu and once again, get back to the game. Now, once you are back in the game screen, you will see everything on a relatively square box in front of you. Now, there are two things that you need to set on your headset. The first is using the right hand controller point above the top of the screen within the virtual desktop app to expose a menu of icons. The first icon will allow you to lock the screen to your head position. And this will essentially make the screen follow your head. Click that and also adjust the size by selecting the size change icon near the right side of that menu and stretch the screen to fully fill your sight. Once you have done this and go back to the screen, you will see that when you move your head, the screen covering your entire vision moves with you and you start to perceive that you are in the environment instead of having the environment move around you. You can now get up of the seat Damn, playing and try walking Good around stuff, to man. see how it feels. Dude, that is very super helpful for people that want to like get into that whole VR experience. There were so many the people. Mouse. But once you get the hang of it, it will become natural. So enjoy VR. Yeah, I mean, like so many people were asking me in that video, uh, "Hey, DG, how do I do this? How do I play Star Citizen?" Uh, with my headset so there you go guys that is how you do it i will put all the links down below when i release this to youtube i hope that helps out many of you that were asking me because i didn't know the answer i don't personally have a headset but i would love love to to have a virtual reality experience in star citizen that would be a dream to to step inside uh, an 890 in vr and just explore the luxury <laughs> and feel like I'm there. So that gives you the answers. This is the tutorial to how to become a star citizen with VR. So I hope you guys appreciate that. Thank you, Planet Wally. Go to Planet Wally's channel. Tell him, hey, DG360 sent me. Why am I not subscribed? Oh, I'm on my other channel. I'm on my other channel. Don't worry, DG360 is subscribed to you, Wally, because you're a good dude. Uh, and, you know, this is a, this is another instance where here's a guy who needs, uh, you know, some support, some love. Only 192 views on this. 
And I know there's more than that. I think I had more than 190 people ask me, <laughs> like, how do I get into VR? So hopefully this answers it. And by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, or even if you're here now live on stream, go to Planet Wally's YouTube channel. Go subscribe to him. Go like and give him some love. And tell him DG360 sent you, because that's what we do here on the channel. We give, we give out that love.